friends welcome to my channel my name is christiana welcome and if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly hit on the red button there says subscribe and put the bell on top and to my subscribers and friends i appreciate you all so much thank you for your support your love may god richly bless you today we are going to read the book of psalm 103 verse 1 to 10 god is not angry with you God is not holding you back of your wrong. Let's just go quickly into this reading. He says, verse 1, Blessed is the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefit. Forgive all their iniquity, who heal all their diseases, who redeem the life from destruction who crown thee with loving kindness and tender mercy who satisfy the mouth with good things so that the youth is new like the eagle the lord exalts righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed he make no his way unto moses his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and generous, slow to anger, and pleasant in mercy. He will not always cheat, neither will he keep his anger forever. And he has no deal with us after our sin, nor reward us according to our iniquity. This is where I want us to share today. God is not angry with you, my friend. I don't care how many people may have said or tell you one thing or the other, that yeah, because of your wrongdoing, because of your past, because of the things you may have done, that God is angry with you. God is not holding you of your wrong. As long as you have given your life to Christ, as long as you have confessed him as your Lord and personal Savior, and you have changed from that evil way into his way, it does not hold you back. If you read the same verse 10 in the Amplifier Classic, it says, He has no deal with us after our sin. So sin has no power over you as long you are in charge of God. Don't be deceived by what people say. Study the word of God by yourself. Take this psalm and read it. Meditate on it for you to understand that it doesn't matter what you have done wrong. It doesn't matter what your past may be. It doesn't matter if you were a prostitute before. It doesn't matter if you are a thief. It doesn't matter if you have been a killer. What matters is now of your life. That is the most important thing, the now of your life. The Bible says, all things have passed away. All things have become new. As long as you have given your heart to Christ, you have changed from your evil way to, your right, to the right way. You have accepted the Lord as your Lord and your personal Savior. He is not counting your sin. He is not counting your wrongs. He is not counting whatever men may say. Don't listen to them. This is the word of the Lord. He says it again. He has no deal with us after our sin, nor reward us according to our iniquity. He will not reward you because of what you have done wrong. He will not reward you because you are a killer. He will not reward you because you are a murderer. He will not reward you because you are a you are, you are a prostitute. No, he reward you according to who you, you are now. You are a newborn baby in Christ. You have given your heart. You have accepted Christ. All the evil things, the things you have done wrong, he have can't it away. He doesn't see them. When he look at you, he see a brand new person. He see a brand new child, a brand new woman being. That is what God sees. He does not count our iniquity. He doesn't count our wrongs. Say, ah, today I went to the club with my friends. And now because of that, I don't think I'm pure in the sight of God. God is not counting that. He doesn't see that. He said, you should come boldly into the throne of grace and obtain mercy. Hallelujah. He's calling you. Come. 
he doesn't care about what you have done but he wants you to come into that grace he has given you grace he has given you freedom he has given you an invitation to come is it not wonderful to know that you have an, a special invitation from the lord to come telling you my son my daughter i don't care whatever you have done but just receive me into your life and your life will never remain the same my dear friend god is not counting your wrongs with you no he's not holding you off you anything god is a merciful god your god is the greater among the greatest he is the i am that i am he doesn't count your wrongs with you no it doesn't matter what you may have done wrong. But God is calling you with his rant. You see, your sin, your wrong does not matter. I am not going to judge you according to what you have done wrong. I am not going to judge you according to the sin of your parents. And I'm not going to judge you according to the sin of your the country where you live. No. He all that matters is you receiving Jesus into your life. And all those things is passed away. Hallelujah. What, what an invitation he has given you. And many of us are joining ourselves backward because we think that, oh, because we did this, because we did that, there's a reason why God is not blessing us. That is not the reason. He has nothing to do. God is blessing you if maybe only the thing you don't see it. You don't recognize it. You are carried away with the things around you. You are being carried away with, from the situation, the things you're doing wrong. You're putting those things and it's covering your eyes to see the things that God has actually done for you. My friends, God is calling you and he's telling you, I own you no guilty. I am not asking you. I'm not, I'm not taking anything from you. I just want you to have me inside you. I want you to confess me to be your father. Forget your sin. It matters no more. Your sin does not matter before God. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count. What can't before God is that you have received him into your life. What can't is that all the bad things you don't, you do them no more. Now you are working in the light. That is the light of God. You are working in the direction that God has set before you. You are now a newborn person, a newborn species. Hallelujah. You are not the same person your mother, your father gave birth to when you receive Christ into your life. Don't stay. Don't wait another minute, another hours for you to accept Jesus into your life. He is your father and he loves you. He's the greatest love you can ever imagine. I'm just coming here to let you know that Jesus is not holding you guilty. He's not holding you responsible for the sin. He's calling you. Say, I'm not going to judge you. It's not like the world that will judge you for who you are, what you have done wrong. Oh, this person is not qualified to be here because he came from this country. This person is not qualified to have this job because he came from this place. He came from a poor background. But Jesus is not like that. Jesus is different. He said, forget all those things. It doesn't matter. What matters is have me inside you. Having me as your Lord and your personal Savior is what matters to him. Jesus is calling you. Don't let your sin hold you back. Don't wait for another minute of the day for you to make the confession that I'm going to put at the end of this video. Thank you so much. And as you made that confession, your life will never remain the same. Your life is going to move from glory to glory and from grace to grace in Jesus' name. Thank you, brethren, my friends. If you're still watching this video up to now, I want to say thank you. And if you have not received Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, please kindly say the confession at the end of this video. I will see you next time. May God richly bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.